There was raw emotion in a courtroom today, a little more than a year since eight-year-old Thomas Valva was discovered dead in his home on Long Island. As we welcome you back here approaching 5.30, I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Valva's father, an NYPD cop at the time, and his live-in girlfriend were arrested and charged with child abuse and murder. And now pretrial testimony is underway. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports from Riverhead. In a hushed courtroom, observers strained to get a look at the ex NYPD officer Michael Valva and his former fiance Angela Polina, whose appearances have drastically changed since the day in January 2020 when they were both charged with the murder of eight year old Thomas Valva, who died of hypothermia after prosecutors say he and his brother were forced to sleep in an unheated garage in Center Mariches. The pre trial hearing will determine what video and audio evidence will be permissible, including including this 911 call. Suffolk Police 843, what is the location of your emergency? I need ambulance immediately. My son's not breathing. Fell down, he banged his head. Let's go, my kid, in the shower to try and help him out a little bit. Sure, what's your name? My name is Michael. I'm a police officer with the city of New York. My son, I think he's, I don't know if he's breathing or not. I don't know if his heart stopped. He fell down on his way to the bus. He banged his head pretty good. I brought him in, and I'm doing CPR right now. All right, how old is he? Eight years old. Thomas's death cried out for reform. There's no question that this heartbreaking case has spurred real action in Suffolk County. Legislator Kara Hahn says their task force has already established a formal partnership with CPS, courts, schools, police, and advocates finding solutions to prevent another loss. Too late, says Thomas's mother, Justina Zubkovalva, who lost custody of her sons in a bitter divorce. Justina filed a $200 million lawsuit against Suffolk CPS and other Long Island officials, alleging they ignored signs of abuse, starvation, and neglect. For now, Polina and Valva will be tried together for murder. We've made an application for a severance based upon the antagonistic nature of the defenses. Will your client, Angela Polina, flip and testify against Michael Valva? And not right now. You know, they've never offered anything. There's never been any discussions about that. And, you know, right now, she's what she's saying is that she's innocent. Their trial is to begin in September. From Riverhead, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And the pretrial hearing continues on Monday in Riverhead. The judge is expected to rule in the next few weeks on whether there will be joint or separate trials.